Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to this short video where I wanted to show you uh, a uh, LDMOS uh, amplifier uh, GUI that I'm working uh, that I'm working on that will basically uh, control my LDMOS uh, amp. Uh, as you can see here, um, it is going to be written in Java FX, uh, and I have a little piece of code here, but I'm just going to go on ahead and. Uh, uh, bring it up here. I, I just have uh, created some very um, simple random values uh, that will get displayed so you can see what this is all about. Okay, let's go on and minimize the development platform. And as you can see here, the GUI uh, comes up uh, pretty straightforward, pretty self explanatory. Uh, I will have a section here that will allow me to uh, view both forward and reflected power, uh, not only in an analog uh, format um, uh, as well as SWRs, but again, not only in an analog format, uh, but as you can also see, uh, sort of like uh, made the meter <laughs> a little smarter um, by enabling uh, LCD uh, display of power. Uh, also, I've implemented an averaging function, so as we read uh, different power levels, this is uh, obviously uh, very helpful when we are working on upper sideband, we'll be able to see average power. Uh, I'm going to have uh, uh, different LEDs uh, for uh, all kinds of things, like the main power supply um, uh, on uh, when I'm transmitting, if there's an alarm condition, like for a say excessive SWRs. Uh, and then also I created a, um, uh, a status uh, or text display area uh, for all different kinds of messages that will come out from the AMP. Uh, also incorporated uh, a very uh, quick um, sort of LED uh, bar graph and also a uh, LED bar graph that will denote the different band uh, that the LDMOS amplifier will be operating on. And then other things like monitoring uh, two different temperature probes. Uh, I'll probably put this uh, uh, on uh, right on the, um, uh, you know, one right on the MOSFETs and probably one on the heatsink. Uh, and then also uh, we'll be monitoring the power supply. Uh, this is probably for the main power supply. Uh, I can incorporate uh, uh, different things here, but I'll have it for my main um, 60 volt power supply and then also the number of amps. And then be it that my amplifier is going to have uh, three different directional couplers for, for a protection standpoint. Obviously, the main one on the output uh, for power, reflector, and SWRs are here. Uh, but I will have a directional coupler right after the radio. Uh, and I will have, again, also forward reflected and SWR values, as well as a coupler right before the uh, low-pass filter. Uh, again, all of these will be uh, incorporated into protection circuits. Um, but the uh, display here will be able to uh, show uh, show us uh, exactly the status of each one uh, of those parameters. Uh, anyway, um, display will be Java FX, uh, as you can see here, uh, and uh, <laughs> sort of like giving it away. Uh, it's going to be running on uh, the newest model, uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, uh, and data will be um, be transmitted over to the Pi from uh, different sensors as well as a, um, I'll probably use an Arduino uh, do it uh, just for a lot of power, but that's still in the design stages. And um, figure out, I'll, I'll get to work on the GUI, and then uh, you know worry about uh, some of the uh, you know some of the hardware. Okay, so uh, this is uh, just a, a brief overview. Probably some things here will change as I uh, further develop um, further develop the uh, uh, the controller as well as the GUI. Um, but stay tuned, there's a lot more to come. Thank you for watching.